Hello, my name is Teddy Zappiel, and today I'm going to show you how to make a timer with command blocks. There are only six steps needed in order to create a command block timer. I'll throw them up on screen so you're able to navigate to which one you need to use. To start off, build a parkour course. You don't need to make it look fancy, just build a start, a finish, and add some parkour in between. You can add decorations, fun rooting, various other things to enhance the parkour's experience. To start off, you're going to want to add some scoreboard objectives. Type slash scoreboard objectives add timer dummy to add the timer entity itself. You can also add JSON brackets to customize the look of the timer in the user interface. Next, add the tick and minute objectives. To create these objectives, run slash scoreboard objectives add tick dummy and do the same with minutes. These two basically let the timer run. Creating the beginning of your timer is very easy. First, get a command block from your inventory. Second, you're going to want to dig a 5 block hole underneath your main pressure plate. From there, create a a chain of command blocks that is about five command blocks long. In the first one, put slash scoreboard players set at p tick zero this is to set the tick variable. Underneath of that, you're going to do the same, but you'll set the timer variable to zero instead. And the process is the exact same for minutes. You're going to do the exact same, just set minutes to zero in that command block. For this command block, you're going to add a nice little title in the action bar. You can just run slash title at p accent bar, and then you could format it in JSON quotes, like so. You can add the text time started, the color gold, and make sure it is bold if you want to have a special flair to your timer. This command is arguably one of the most important. You just add slash tag at p add timer, which determines whether or not your timer is on or not. On every command block before the main first one, you have to set it to chain, conditional, and always active so that the command blocks run in a sequence. Finally, just patch the hole and you're done. To start, create a small room on the side of your parkour course. In this room, replace a repeating command block, which is unconditional and always active, and put the command execute as at a, tag timer, at at s, run scoreboard players, add at s, tick 1. Every tick, this will add 1 to the tick variable of everyone that has the tag timer. Here, replace a repeating command block. Make sure it is always active, as I did not do in the video. In this command, write execute as at a at s. If score at s tick matches 20, run set block, because you'll be doing a little bit of set block work in a moment. We're going to get the coordinates of a block nearby, and we're going to run set block, tab, 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 redstone torch. I'd recommend to copy the command and replace set block with it. This way, it'll be a redstone torch every time the, the command requirements are met. Place a piece of redstone dust right next to the, where the torch will be, and beside that, replace an impulse command block. This command block, type slash scoreboard players, add at s timer 1. In a chain command block above it, Write slash execute as at a at s on scoreboard players set tick zero to reset the tick variable when you need it again. For this repeating command block here that is unconditional and always active, you can add the command execute as at a at s. If score at s timer matches 60, run scoreboard players add at s minutes one. This keeps tracks of how many minutes the player has gone through during the timer.
You only need one more command block to finish off the calculations room of your parkour. In this command block, you should type execute as at A, at, at S. If score at S, tick, matches 10. Run set block, chords where you set the redstone torch, air. Because all you have to do is paste that in from earlier. But instead of making a redstone torch, you make it air so that the cycle is able to repeat itself every so often. Now you've finished the building of the math room. Good job. First, you're probably going to want to dig out the area you're going to make the timer. From here, you can replace a command block and take the pressure plate that which you're going to end the timer and then have the command block right below it and facing the direction you want. All you have to do from here is slash tag at p remove timer. Very basic command which allows you to finish the parkour. You can make a fancy tell raw but skip to 6 minutes and 41 seconds in if you don't want to. I'll be providing the command in the description below. So feel free to copy and paste it in a chain command block neighboring the impulse command block which is activated by the pressure plate. From here, all you have to do is test the timer. Do slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar timer to make sure the timer works, and then start the timer. It should look something like this where it counts up. Now here's what the completed map looks like with the timer. Thank you so much for watching this video, and subscribe if you want to see more parkour content like this.